Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Crystal Sykes, LadySavage.com. And today, <laughs> we've got some keto cornbread without any corn in it. So it's going to be called keto cornbread without corn. It's... Keto coconut bread. Cheddar jalapeno cornbread. Without, without corn. Without the corn. All right. What we got here, babe? All right. So in here, I have two tablespoons of butter. This is the rest of the stick, so it's one whole stick all together. Um, one third cup of heavy cream, one cup of cheese, just some pepper and garlic powder for seasoning, flavoring, um, a half a cup of coconut flour. Um, we have two jalapenos chopped, three eggs, and then this is um, a, half a, a half a teaspoon of baking soda and then a half a teaspoon. Um, Cheat sheet. Yeah, that's what I thought. A quarter teaspoon of the baking soda and half a teaspoon of the salt. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna we're going for the spicy cornbread and we're gonna saute the jalapenos before we put them in the cornbread. So you can make this recipe like a sweet cornbread, which I love, but we decided to go a little spicy today, spice things up. So we're going to. Um, put these jalapenos in the skillet Saute first. Saute them. All right, and while that is going over there, we can take this bowl and we'll just go ahead and melt down the uh, butter. in the microwave? Yeah. It's a lot of peppers. I think it's going to be super spicy. Well, Robert asked me to put three in there and I only did two. You like it spicy? Yeah. She is spicy. All right. So I have the butter melted over here. I'm going to add the eggs to it. is much more impressive than two-handed. Check this out. And then <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna add in the heavy cream. the salt and the baking soda. And we'll go ahead and add in the coconut flour as well. A little garlic powder. Sure. Come away. That's good. The vampires away. That's good. Wowzers. We want a little pepper with our cornbread. Wow. Well, okay. What a white pepper we make, baby. <laughs> what a great pepper we make. Now, cheese. With the oil or with the butter? That's fine. Ooh, la, la. So, if you have a cast iron skillet, you're going to want to use that to put the cornbread in. That's going to be your best option. If you don't have a cast iron, then you can use just regular glass. Can we use this cast iron? Mm -hmm. I think this is a 10 inch. Cast iron skillet. Yeah. 
All right. So then once everything's mixed, just pour it in there and then we'll flatten it out. Yeah, just try to like evenly distribute everything. Hold on. There's just not a lot of peppers on that spot. To evenly distribute things and then um, just you can just press it down a little bit where it needs to be. Peppers gonna make me sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I called it. So I have made this before where I doubled the recipe and um, that'll get it a lot thicker. So you can do it in the same pan or a larger pan um, if you like it a thicker uh, cornbread. This one is pretty, pretty is it, flat. Because it doesn't really rise much. No, uh-uh. So if you, want, if you do want more or thicker, then just double the recipe or um, use a smaller pan. What's the oven set at? So the oven is set at 350 degrees. Oh, careful. Oh, for some reason I thought that was hot. 350 degrees for how long are we going? Um, 15 to 20 minutes. All right, here we go. What is going on, y'all? We are back. This thing has been in the oven for 20 minutes at 420, right? 425 degrees? No, 350 degrees. This is why she operates the oven. 350 degrees. It is looking marvelous. You want to cut that because I'm going to mess it up. All right. It looks like cornbread. I would hope so. I'll tell you what, these peppers make me sneeze, though. We probably could afford to let it chill, like to let it like set for a little bit, but we're not going to because that's who we are. We're just going to dive in. Yeah. So I've made this before and we, like, I, <coughs> goodness, <laughs> I like the larger pieces, but if you're making it for more people, for more people, people will be satisfied, especially if you're adding it to it, another meal or adding it to a meal, um, people will be satisfied if you cut it into sixteenths rather than eighths. We just took in some, uh, let me get a fork. We just took some of this to an event the other day. And and people were not keto, and they had no idea that it was not real cornbread. Ooh, hold on, let me see. Uh -huh. You got it. It's free. Look at that. Comes out nice and perfect. Look at that. Look at that. <sighs> so good. All right, over the lips and over the gums. Watch out, tummy. Here she comes. That's pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. It's not super spicy. Mm -hmm. it, but you can taste the flavor of the jalapenos, which is good. If you want it more spicy, I would saute it less. But this is pretty delicious. Yeah, I think um, we made a sweet one, mm -hmm. and then we made this savory, cheesy one. And. I think you can't go wrong with cornbread. I like I like this kind of cornbread. Mm -hmm. With the sweet one, this is a southern thing, y'all. So we're in Arkansas. Let me show you what you got to do. You get your cornbread. You crumble it up in a little bitty pieces in your glass of milk. And if you don't have keto-friendly milk, then use almond milk or something like that. A little bit of heavy cream. Mix that up. But cornbread in your glass of milk is like as southern as it gets. It's pretty delicious. And if you do want to do <clears throat> it sweet rather than the savory style, then I would just leave out the cheese and the jalapenos and add a little bit of sweetener to it. Mm-hmm. Other than and that, it's delicious. Though, right? mm -hmm. um, and it's delicious. This would be really good with like breakfast, even like this with um, some uh, just fried eggs or with your soup, or whatever. We've had it several different ways, or with a chili, something like that. Bacon. Um, you really can't go wrong with this, this is delicious. 
So, for the complete macro breakdown, the recipe, the video, the whole kit and caboodle, check out the website, ketosavage.com. Until then, y'all, stay savage, eat healthy, and um, all those good things. And that right, baby? That's right. All right, catch y'all later. Thank you.